web browser there you can use google chrome mozilla firefox internet explorer like this are several types of web browsers nowadays we are using with the help of www that is world wide web we can able to navigate here and it display web pages he is called as web browser what do you mean by this free software the name itself suggesting free of cost we can able to take the source code here welcome back to one and all myself vasantha lecturer in computer science vidyashram pre university college temple of excellence mysore today we will start with a revision class on internet and open source concept whereas in the annual exam from this chapter you can expect two question in part e one question for one marks and in part c one question for three marks the total weightage of this chapter is four marks two questions you will get from this chapter whereas on this chapter you will study regarding what do you mean by open source concept then under that what do you mean by web browser what do you mean by e-commerce advantages of e-commerce disadvantages of e-commerce how exactly this e-commerce will work then with that the types of e-commerce regarding that you will study on this particular chapter when you come on one more question what is oss this most expected question whereas oss refers to open source software open source software whose source code is available to customers and it can be modified and redistributed without any limitations consider you have some code the same code can be copied and for whoever you want you can able to redistribute this code that is open source software whereas here here the customer can able to modify that data that is source code and they can able to redistribute here then name any two web browser when you come on browser web browser there you can use google chrome mozilla firefox internet explorer like this are several types of web browsers nowadays we are using then what are web browsers whereas a software that navigates through the world wide web with the help of www that is world wide web we can able to navigate here and it display web pages he is called as web browser web browser helps to display the web page with the help of www that is world wide web what is url whereas http hypertext transfer protocol uses internet address in a special format or an address of a file on internet is called as url that is uniform resource locator whereas in http we are using this next one what is open source software whereas this question you can expect for one marks as well as for three marks also you can expect this question whereas already i told you oss stands for open source software here whatever source code we have that source code can be copied and we can modify as well as we can able to redistribute this that is oss refers to open source software whose source code is available to customers whatever code they are written for that program that can be available to the customer and it can be modified how the user want on that way they can able to modify as well as redistributed without any limitations we can modify the source code and we can able to redistribute for how many people we want there is no any restrictions here oss can be freely used but it does not have to be free of charge here here the company constructing the business models around oss may receive the payment concerning support for the development here then for three marks you can expect what do you mean by web server whereas already i told you when they come on types of server server is nothing but the one who supplies the resources whereas web server that responds to the request made by web browsers it supplies the resources and here it stores the pages of the web site here mainly next question explain free software 
What do you mean by this free software? The name itself suggesting free of cost, we can able to take the source code here. The name itself suggesting free software without cost, we can take the source code here. It means that software is freely accessible, free to use. We can able to access that software. We can able to use that software. And if I want, I can make some changes on that software, improve the software, copy the software, whatever source code we are getting that we can able to use it and we can able to make changes and we can able to redistribute or if I want, I can improve the software also and distributed without any payment, without any cost, I can able to redistribute this. It is distributed along with its source code and it is released under a software license that guarantees the user's freedom to run the software for any purpose. And it is often developed by volunteer computer programmers. Here, the users can able to get the software and they can able to modify that software and whichever way they can able to use it. For that, there will be a permission here. That is about free software. And the next one, explain types of e-commerce. When you come on e-commerce, e-commerce is nothing but buying or selling the product with the help of internet. Electronic commerce, that is nothing but buying or selling the products with the help of internet on your mobile or with the help of computer. If you buy any product or if you sell any product, then it can be called as e-commerce. When we come on e-commerce, there we have some advantages as well as some disadvantages. When we come on advantages, here by sitting in the home itself, I can able to search all the products and I can order the products that can be delivered to my home itself. No need to go to that particular shop and whichever product, whichever color, whichever design we want, that we can get here. And here, tiredness will reduce us and we can able to avoid the petrol. No need to visit the shop. Obviously, petrol can be saved. We can able to avoid the stress. Is it no? But when we come on drawback, there we have a few drawbacks. We will order one product. At the end, we'll get some other product. Sometimes we have to pay extra charges for that product. Is it no? Then with that, we have, we'll order one color, but we are getting some other colors. The color shading is also there and sometimes size is also not matches. Sometimes that product can be exchanged as well as sometimes it is not possible to exchange also. These are the few drawbacks on e-commerce. But now you come to know e-commerce is nothing but buying or selling the product with the help of internet. When we come on types of e-commerce, under that we have four types. One is business to business, business to consumer, as well as consumer to business, and one more is consumer to consumer. One by one we'll discuss. First, business to business. The name itself suggesting business to business. Here, the transaction takes place between two organization. Within two organization, the transaction will take place here. One organization wants some raw material. Another organization will provide that material. It means that both are organization only here. That is the exchange of services, information or products from one business to another business partners only. That is nothing but business to business. And next one, business to consumer. Here the name itself suggesting business to consumer. The consumer can directly order their product to that organization itself, to that business area itself here. That is business to consumer. Whereas here the exchange of services, information or products from business to consumer will take place here. Next one, consumer to business. For example, Consider I have created one project or I developed one project. I am going to launch that project on the internet. I am going to launch that product on the internet. And who will bet highest amount for that project? For them, I am going to selling my project. That is nothing but consumer to business. The consumer itself will launch or he will demand the product. Okay. Who will going to give the highest price for them? They will sell their product, that project here. That is nothing but consumer to business. Here, consumer directly contact business vendors by posting their project work within set budget online, especially through online they will send. So that the needly companies review it and 
contact the customer directly with bit here how much the amount they were paying that they will tell and they can purchase the product from the consumer itself the last one is consumer to consumer it means that both are consumers only for example one person sell their product to the another person and another person will sell their product by some other information it means that both are consumers only here electronic commerce is an internet facilitate form of business here both are consumers only i will sell particular product you sell some other product for that place it means that both are consumers only this is nothing but different types of e-commerce whereas e-commerce is nothing but buying or selling the product with the help of internet there we have advantages as well as disadvantages but when they come on types the first one is business to business business to consumer next one is consumer to business and the last one is consumer to consumer these are the four types of e-commerce next we will move on explain the technologies and services used in e-commerce which are the technologies we are using especially on this on this we are using electronic data interchange that is edi we are using when you want to perform e-commerce on that time we can use electronic data interchange we can able to perform through the email we can send the information that means now this product is ordered this product will deliver on so and so date like that we can get the email message here then electronic fund transfer eft if i want i can able to transfer the fund especially amount through electronic format then electronic benefits transfer this also one of the services or technology used in e-commerce then digital cash we can use online payment that to digital cash we are if you want we can pay then electronic banking these are the few technologies or service we are using in e-commerce next we will move on what are the advantages of e-commerce already i told you when you come on advantages of e-commerce by sitting in the home itself i can able to order whichever product i want i can able to search the information regarding that product i can able to see the feedback regarding that product what's the product when is the expiry date then how much cost what is the advantages if i'm going to purchase that particular product on that website everything all the information will get for us by sitting in the home itself no need to visit each and every shop here that's why we can able to avoid the stress we can able to avoid the petrol and no need to visit each and every shop whichever color whichever product we want that product we can able to order here and here cash and delivery also we can take and if i want i can pay electronic payment also i can done with a credit card or with a debit card or with the help of cash and delivery whichever way we want on that way we can able to pay the amount here and if i purchase a particular product then some discount also sometime we are getting and sometime there is no transportation charge also like that we have several disadvantages as well as advantages here and when they come on advantages easier entry into market especially remote markets here then your global participation is possible global participation is possible then optimization of resource is possible here and with that reduce the time to complete business transaction these are the few advantages of e-commerce it means that on today's class you are studied regarding what do you mean by oss that is open source software under that how exactly this open source software will work that is the name itself suggesting open source software means here we can able to copy the source code and we can able to modify that and we can able to redistribute as if i want i can able to modify whichever way i want then later on we can able to redistribute that source code to anybody but when you come on free software the name itself suggesting free of cost free of cost we can able to transfer we can able to take that source code and whichever way we want we can able to modify and we can able to send the data and we can able to process here is it now it means that in free software free of cost we can able to get all the information and here we can able to redistribute that software and with that when you come on e-commerce 
as a process of buying or selling the product with the help of internet. In this we have advantages, disadvantages and few technologies especially here we are using. With that you come to know regarding what do you mean by web server, website whereas HTML is used to create the web pages. The collection of web pages is called as website. It means that on today's class you have studied regarding the open source concept under that how exactly this e-commerce will work then advantage disadvantages where we are using this regarding that you have studied. Next class we will meet you once again with a new chapter. Thank you for all of you.